All right, hey there, and welcome to another episode of the Stress and Anxiety Show. My name is Matt Cotty, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker, and I specialize in OCD and anxiety. And so on this episode, I want to talk about another common mistake that I see people fall in when it comes to their recovery from, uh, you know, OCD, anxiety, and other stress-related disorders. And that specific um, mistake that we're going to talk about in this episode is the idea of trying to solve or figure out whatever it is that you're afraid of. And so um, before we go uh, you know, into that, uh, if you could please do me a huge favor and just um, show your support by liking and subscribing, I would really appreciate that. Um, but as we, as we dive into this idea today, so one of the problems that happens with anxiety is that the mind starts running really, really fast, right? And that energy really, really picks up in the mind. And what happens is, is that, um, you know, the, the person will engage in activities like rumination and analyzation to try to solve whatever it is that they're afraid of. Now, on, on normal um, instances, you know, that, that, that's, a, that's a helpful skill, right? You know, so if you have a, let's say, a party you're planning and you have to coordinate things, using that part of your mind to solve that is, is you know, is reasonable. It's, a, it's the right thing to do, right? You're solving a specific problem. The problem with OCD and anxiety is that often it comes up with, you know, what if thoughts that are impossible to solve. So, for instance, like, you know, the idea of what if I get cancer one day? What if, um, you know, a loved one gets hurt? What if, you know, it, it, it comes up with these what if thoughts that we'll never be able to solve. What if I go to hell? What if I lost my salvation? What if I get AIDS? What if I, you know, spontaneously, um, you know, fall out of love with my spouse, right? And what happens is, is these questions then stimulate the, the stress response, right? And that's, that's what we determine as psychological stress, right? Is our brain's ability to come up with a potential thing, right, in the future that we can never really be certain of, and then our body is reacting to it as a threat right now. And this is the problem with things like OCD and anxiety, is that we're reacting to a threat that doesn't currently exist. And so all this energy that our body's producing with the stress response, with that fight or flight response, that energy has nowhere to go, right? You know, because there's nothing to fight or flight, right? There's there's nothing to actually resolve. So then what our what we do is we then go inward and go into kind of more thinking and ruminating, which is actually a behavior that reinforces the fear in the first place, and we try to figure it out. Right, and and this is you know what a, a lot of people will send emails and comments and um and and all sorts of questions like you know well how do you know or how can I be sure and and you know with with, with the goal intention of each of these questions to quote figure it out I just need to figure it out I need to know for sure about my salvation about my sexuality about you know if I won't ever hit someone with my car um, about my relationship am I really in love right you know like when it comes to relationship OCD am I is this really the one how can you be sure right and so they try to figure it out and the problem is is that the more and more you try to figure something out that doesn't have an answer the more and more confusion that it brings usually you know it's very rare that um, the deeper and deeper you go down that rabbit hole, what usually happens is the more and more chaos ensues, right? And, you know, I think uh, it was Mark Freeman who who posts a lot of uh, great content on YouTube as well. Um, you know, he said he said it, and I and I just I just remember it stuck with me. But he said that you can't outthink a thinking problem, right? And and that idea of the, the more and more we're trying to use thinking to solve the exact thing that's the problem of thinking, the, the more that counteracts and, and just does not go well together, right? Um, it's like throwing gas on a fire. It just kind of makes things worse. And what we need to realize is that thinking about it is actually the problem. And let me go ahead and explain that. So when we're worrying about an event that we don't know if it will happen in the future, right? The only thing that we can actually do is to live right now, right? You know, because there's a, not only do we not know if that event's gonna happen, but there's actually a million other things that your mind didn't come up with that could also happen that you're not worrying about. And there's also a million other things that your mind has said in the past that what if this happened and they never happen, right? 
and, and all that energy that we're using to try to control the future, be certain about the future, what it does is it takes us out of the present. It takes us out of our lives right now, right? And this is the problem with anxiety is that it can, we can live our whole life like this. We can live today worrying about tomorrow, tomorrow worrying about the next day, and we can just keep going like that. In fact, there's many people that live like that all day long, right? You know, it's just, it's just the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, right? And the more and more we do that, the less and less we're actually living, right? And, and here is really just a question I guess I would pose to you um, if, if this is something that you, you wrestle with, right? Because it's important to, because here's, here's the, I think the myth that people live in, um, and, and I did this too, so this is not like a critique, right? Please hear this from the place of like, I live like this for a long time. And, and so having, like the first step to breaking out of it is realizing it, right? And that's kind of the, the whole point of this, of this episode is to help you kind of realize that and, and literally start to break out of it. Um, and, and because when you're living your life out of fear and trying to resolve an internal emotion within yourself, right, like stress, a lot of people do all these behaviors and they think that they're in control of their life and, and they're making these choices consciously. But the reality is when you're making a choice to resolve an internal state that you, you know, that was just spontaneously kind of happened, you're not really in control, right? You're just, you're just responding I mean, you're reacting to something that's going on in your body and you're trying to neutralize it. And that's kind of what goes on from day to day. When someone has contamination fears, they touch something, they get afraid. So they're washing. They're like, well, I'm choosing to wash. And it's like, well, are you, you know, like, are you, would you really choose your life if you had to draw it out perfectly, like to be washing for two, three, four hours a day? It, you know, would you choose your life to be worrying all the time while you're driving, you know, about work and then getting to work and then worrying about the next day and just spending all this energy worrying and analyzing and analyzing? And, you know, if we're really honest with ourselves, you know, most of us probably wouldn't draw it up like that if we had the choice. And the thing is, we do have the choice. And, and part of it is, is realizing all the things we're doing to try to figure out um, the things that we're afraid of. Um, especially like the things in the major, major topics of fear and anxiety, um, the things that we'll never be able to solve. All that energy is something that we can put into things that we really want to in our life, to our relationships, you know, to projects we want. You know, we can actually stop putting energy into it and stop feeding it. And the more and more we try to figure out whatever it is that we're trying to figure out that we can, that, 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 you know, that uncertainty that we're holding on to, the worse and worse that's going to get. And that's that trap that people fall into is, if I just had this answer, if I just figured this out, then I'll be okay. And it's never enough. I mean, it really is like an addiction. It's just, it's an insatiable thirst or it's an unquenchable thirst, right? And the more you get, the more you want. And, and the more questions that pop up after that. And actually, that's what we're going to talk about in our next episode is just the different layers that, um, that, you know, OCD and anxiety goes to and how the, you know, the next trap we're going to talk about is the idea of, of kind of doing well on the first layer, but falling for the next, the second and third layers. And so, um, but, you know, hopefully you found this helpful. I mean, so just to kind of quickly recap the, the whole idea of this episode, right? It's, it's really this idea of giving up trying to figure it out, right? The mistake that people fall into is trying to figure out something that can never be figured out instead of just letting living with uncertainty like everyone else does. And when we're able to live with uncertainty, we can start to habituate to those feelings. Those feelings will start to drop on their own and we'll begin to see the problem from a whole new perspective. But when we're in that lens of fear, we gotta realize like we're not really seeing things how they really are and we're and we're actually not living life how we really wanna live it for the most cases. And so, and, and getting honest with that is important, um, you know, to to really make sure that we start to live the kind of life we want to live. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you found that helpful. And um, again, we'd really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing. And also we have some additional resources for you on this journey over at restoredminds.com. In fact, we have some links right down below in the notes um, that will take you some free downloads, free additional trainings. Um, and then also we have our, you know, um, higher level services with our coaching, you know, our, and, and, and our live Zoom calls that we do with our communities um, and all that. So um, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with, uh, with me today. Wish you guys a great week and I will see you guys soon. Take care. 
Hey there, Matt here, and thank you for watching that video. And if you're struggling with stress and anxiety, I just want to let you know that I have a free seven minute meditation that I'd like to give to you. You can just click the link right down in the notes to get instant access. And we'd really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon.